The tall, imposing structure of this house whispers tales of history against the endless sky. This is a tribute to ancient lore by Excalibur builders. Today, we have an exclusive opportunity to tour this incredible home. The architecture style is a balance between tradition and innovation. So come on, let's check inside. With the extensive use of real travertine cladding throughout the house, including the front perimeter walls, encapsulated by modern geometric charcoal gray canopies, it is a haven of elegance as time finds its grace. Oh, that's always what an entrance. I can't wait to show you what's inside. The main door this time is a combination of two exotic woods. The most exotic one, which is Kamagong, and of course, Excalibur Builder's signature bespoke solid Lara. The firm took a step back with their usual open layout so that they're able to accommodate the client's wants and needs. This time, they went for a traditional layout so the areas are compartmentalized. And look, the travertine flows seamlessly from the inside and out. When you open the door, you will be greeted by this beautiful wall cladded with premium travertine encased with Nara, creating privacy for those who live in the house. Guests will surely be impressed as they walk to the receiving area. And here we have the custom solid Kamagon table. It took three months in the making. Definitely not a walk in the park. The legs are ornately cut, joined together to make sure the table is solidly built. Excalibur builders go beyond building spaces by also providing one-of-a-kind furniture for their clients. These customized items are exclusively available for the firm's clients. And for the decorative column and bench, we have Nara cladding. Not just Nara plywood. Solid Nara cladding have made their way through the formal office spaces and even the cabinetry. Excalibur Builders usually had a modular cabinetry. This time they used a solid Nara cabinetry. It gives the home a stately finish yet a modern design. Warm tones, solid wood panels, vast windows. This is a dance of past and present. Now let's go see the powder room. Wow. Have you seen details mixed in this way? Even the sink is detailed. So Art Deco. Wall art combined with Italian tiles and jade marble Italian sink complemented with a unique mirror and drop lights. Breathtaking. This house has an incredible presence. It showcased travertine from the exterior as well as. Oh my goodness, wow. That's gorgeous. We have yet another travertine wall at the heart of the house. But what makes it unique is the floor to ceiling height about eight meters. This space looks phenomenal. The architectural theme of the facade flows into this room. You could also see the floating Nara ceiling on top of it. Another unique feature are the niches that could be served as a gallery for the homeowners. The backdrop is a combination of Italian black marble, Italian white onyx, and solid narrow shelves with lighting that really brings life to the incredible finish. The aesthetic elements courses through the living room towards the dining. A 10-seater customized dining table exclusively created by the firm. A full solid narrow ceiling and a complementary Siberian white marble that frames the grand lanai, garden, and pool. Such a peaceful place to relax and enjoy your time or perhaps have morning coffee because you have your own coffee nook. A coffee bar at the corner of the room showcases a combination of Nara for the cabinetry. 
Iberian white marble for the backsplash, with Italian black marble for the countertop. Speaking of countertop, let's move to the showcase kitchen. Now I'm going to take you to the door right here because it has access to the show kitchen. Let's see if anybody's inside. No? Come on, let's go inside. The showcase kitchen was designed as a go-between the formal and informal dining serving as a hub for both. And here we are going to the butler's pantry. Consider this your holding area for drinks or even an informal buffet. On the other side of the show kitchen is where you can see the secondary kitchen. Adjacent is the laundry space, the access to the staff quarters, and a more private access to the garage. A cozy area where you can have light meals with your friends, I welcome you to the informal dining area. This is also the introduction of Excalibur Builder's fabric wall cladding, which you also saw in the living room area. From the ultra spacious central area of the house, we are now on the second floor, moving towards the master bedroom. The master bedroom is extra special. With all these signature Nara slats, solid kamagong finished in lacquer cladding by the window, and Italian fabric cladding as a backdrop from the headboard of the bed. Excalibur Builder's rooms are adorned with each and every detail thought through. The ensuite bathroom has a freestanding tub, a compartmentalized water closet, a walk-in shower with a rain head, and just around the corner, the walk-in closet. And obviously we have the biggest walk-in closet in the house. We have a very clean palette all over. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. Just like the master bedroom, the other bedrooms got their own ensuite toilet and bath with interesting countertops and tile designs. Own double glazed windows which significantly reduces the noise from the outdoors. Aside from the bedrooms on this floor, we also have a study which has a floor-to-ceiling panel that's overlooking the living room. Another great design element of this home is the study where you can see the views from the hallway on the ground floor, making this space feel a little bit more open. And here we have the Italian onyx plated elevator. It helps you get from the second floor, ground floor, and basement where we are right now. This elevator the cladding is another story because it was intricately cut, painstakingly affixing exactly the corners against one another, which took about three months to delicately put together. And finally, the man cave. It is designed in such a way that it feels like you're not in the basement. Whether you're an explorer, a conqueror, or a big voice in the country's most important territorial dispute, this room is a sure fire sanctuary for you. This extensive light well and sunken vertical garden allows you to seek greens and permits air and natural light flowing to this space, breaking that traditional definition of a basement as a dank, moldy place. Now this door brings us to the massive utility area. Including the ramp, this garage fits about 8 to 10 cars, so it's great to maximize all that space. The beauty of this house is in the choice of materials that are relevant. Those that create that soft glow through different spaces, even on overcast days. Those with textual qualities that have been put in place that can age well over time and grow along with the family. This home is traditional, robust, and full of character.